Compass correction. What is it and how do we complete the practice problems for this section? We start off with a mnemonic rhyme. Mnemonic rhymes are meant to help you remember, so that's what this does. True virgins make dull company. Add whiskey, subtract ethics. Right? You're not going to forget that. It's not politically correct in any way, but you won't forget it. True virgins make dull company. Add whiskey, subtract ethics. True. This T stands for true. Degrees true. Right? Degrees true. V stands for variation. Variation is where are you located on the earth? Where is your position on the earth? Your position on the earth affects the compass on your vessel. Magnetic. This is true. Minus variation is magnetic. If you account for variation, so it's just true, then account for variation, it'll give you magnetic. And that's on every compass rose. Let's take a look. You see this compass? This outer ring is true. This inner ring is magnetic. And in there even further it says variation 14 degrees 45 minutes west. Annual increase of 3 degrees. This is magnetic. It's true. It accounts for this 1445 which we round up to 50 for this course because trying to take into account a quarter of 1 degree it's just not practical. So, true degrees, magnetic degrees. That's what we're doing here. You have true degrees, variation, where you are on the earth, gives you magnetic. This D, deviation. Deviation is kind of conceptual, but don't get confused. It's dependent on one thing. Just remember this. Deviation is dependent on your heading. The heading of your ship is what makes deviation. You have certain magnetic parts of your ship. Your ship may be steel. It may have batteries. It may have tools. And these tools, let's say your compass is here. As, as your ship rotates, your compass stays stationary. But all these battery banks and tools and electronics rotate about your compass and affect your compass. And so it is your heading that creates deviation, right? The heading of your ship, the magnetic condition of your ship relative to your compass. Because remember, your compass stays pointed north, hopefully, right? And then your ship rotates about it. The magnetic condition of your ship affects your compass. Therefore, heading of your ship is what you base deviation on. And this lower one is compass. This is the compass on your vessel. And it's in degrees PSC, per standard compass. And now this plus whiskey is west, and this minus ethics is east. And this is what happens when we go down. When we go down, we add west and subtract east. When we go up, we do the opposite. And you can, you can say, can dead men vote twice at election? Some, it's about Chicago back in the day. They had some dead people voting, right? So what I like to do, I make one drawing that says this. It's an arrow, points down, and it says add west. This is a powerful drawing, right? Because you know you're going down from true to compass, you're going to add west. That means you subtract east. So with this drawing, you can, you can take from it a lot. You can say this. Let me just draw it right here. No, let me draw it bigger over here. So with this drawing, let me show you what you can take from this. If you're going down from true to compass, you add west and subtract east. If you're going up, you do the opposite. You add east and subtract west. You can make this drawing 
or you can just make an association that says this. When I go down, I add west. I know I always do the opposite to east, so I know I add east. And when I go up, I do the opposite. So I know that I add east and subtract west. So from this very simple drawing, if you remember a couple rules, you can remember all of this. This is the premise of compass correction, right? We take true degrees, geographic true, true north, and then we put variation and deviation in to get what our compass should read at that spot on the planet at that heading for our particular ship, which is where a deviation table comes in. Let me snag that. This is the deviation table we'll be using. It gives your heading in degrees and then the deviation you'll experience in that heading. See, deviation table, block island, use 15 west variation. We always use 15 west variation because it's very, very close to the variations experienced on the block island chart. And if you can calculate a quarter of a degree and stick to that, good on you. But we're going to use 15 west for our intents and purposes. So that's where we get our deviation, and we can take it from either magnetic or compass. Like they're both going to be close enough. Not They'll never be more than four degrees away from each other for any of these problems. And that four degrees is, is just fine. We can take it from magnetic or compass and get deviation from it. And let's look at one other thing. Compass error, right? This is all about compass error. Compass error equals variation plus deviation, right? So these two, these two pieces, variation and deviation, create the compass error. So if you wanna go from true to compass, you put compass error in. You put variation in, you put deviation in. You get compass. If you wanna go from compass to true, you take compass error out, you take deviation out, you take variation out, and you get back to true. In the next video, I will solve all of the practice problems. First, there'll be three that goes from true to compass. And then I'll do the last four that go from compass to true. And you'll see the math behind these things. You'll see us going from true and adding, adding west and subtracting east on the way down and then you'll see us go from compass and adding east and subtracting west to get back up. And you'll see how it goes back and forth. When you go down and you add west, subtract east, and you get compass. Well, it's the same thing. You can use the same numbers and add east and subtract west and get back to true. So it's a two-way street here. And this is the basic rule. You're going from true to compass, add west, subtract east. You're going from compass to true, add east, subtract west. And a more simplified drawing, if you need a memory aid, is just when you're going from true to compass, add west. And then you know you do the opposite to east. And then you know when you go up, you do the opposite. You add east, subtract west. And I think it'll all come together when you watch the practice problems. And there's some more practice problems in the reading and the book and everything. So get a lot of practice with this. And don't leave this until you really know this math, forward and backward, because it's important. It comes into play in most of the other problem sets.